So as Apex reaches a potential turning point where it can either get better or 10 times worse, a lot of players are wondering what's next for the successor of Titanfall 2. Well, as we near the start of Season 23 on November 5th, coming right off the back of Season 22, which performed pretty bad in quite a few ways. First of all, the player count being at an all-time low since the game's release, and also recent news came out from the EA earnings call sharing that Season 22 also underperformed in terms of monetization for Apex Legends netting EA a little bit less money than they were hoping for. And the directors for Apex Legends did share some information on how they want to move forward following this news. So first of all, they said following the changes to the Battle Pass construct, they did not see the lift in monetization they were expecting. So the controversial Battle Pass change, which luckily with quite an uproar from the community, we managed to get slightly changed in our favor, allowing us to buy the Battle Pass with Apex coins still. But regardless of that, of course, two Battle Passes per season is hoping to net EA a little bit more money than was before. But that clearly didn't work out for them, and at what cost? A lot of players were left quite betrayed after the news of the Battle Pass change came out, and it didn't even make EA the money they were hoping for, but that's not just it. They also went on to talk about what really matters in terms of Apex Legends and building the brand itself, in order, of course, for them to make more money, but also what they need to do to kind of revive Apex Legends. And they said this, first of all, in the competitive landscape, where brand a strong core player base and high quality mechanics matter more than ever, Apex has proven to be a compelling franchise for us and an industry. Then saying that Apex has proven to be a compelling franchise and it does show that EA know what they have with Apex. They do have something that could be great and they actually do know that the competitive landscape and the high quality gameplay is what matters a lot more than these silly monetization strategies like cramming events down our throats, trying to make us buy the latest and greatest skins what matters more is the core gameplay of Apex Legends and having a player base there that enjoy playing the game first and will spend money second. They also say to drive significant growth and re-engagement, large systematic change is required and they'll continue to focus on retention and breadth of content in service of our global community as we work towards more significant innovative changes in the future. So of course a lot of this is just going to be to try and please a lot of the players and game journalists and actually actions do speak louder than words, but if we do take anything of what they say to be true, it does show that they're planning on trying to re-engage the community and make them fall in love with Apex again, by a large systematic changes. And it sounds like these changes aren't going to be based on monetization. It does sound as they did talk about the competitive landscape and the high quality mechanics of Apex, the next few seasons of Apex might be focused a lot more on how we play the game rather than how we spend our money on the game. So personally, I do like the sound of this, but like I said, we will have to wait and see what they do. And what does sound a little bit more promising is the reality seems to be kicking in for EA and it seems they're happy to actually tank for a little while financially to grow Apex back. They say here that as they look forward, they've adjusted the rest of the financial year for 2025 to reflect lower engagement than expected in our prior guidance. They are committed to delivering new experiences for their players with a continued focus on enhancing player engagement and retention. What this means is they've already understood that they might be making less money with Apex Legends, which means they won't necessarily be striving to try and rinse every single penny out of their player base, at least for 2025. They're focusing more on trying to build the player base back, which will definitely benefit us as players because it means more updates on things that we want rather than things that they're trying to make us want. I think lowering their expectations financially is great because it probably means Respawn can cook a little bit more with the game without having EA breathing down their necks trying to make them as much money as possible. And they even say here that EA expects Apex Legends to grow the business back as they get through to the latter parts of early 26 and beyond. So they do have high aspirations and expectations for this game Game. You've probably seen a lot of creators at the moment saying they're done with Apex. A lot of comment sections filled with Apex is dead. Well, it seems like EA know this and they're really trying to revive this thing. And it seems like they might be going about the right way to do this. But that's been a lot of talk about the financials of Apex. And it might get a little bit boring if you are just a regular Apex player. You don't really care how much money EA makes and you're not really bothered about all that. What you might be interested in is what's next for Apex. Will there be an Apex Legends 2? The idea had been floating around for a while. Well, they actually officially commented on what they think of an Apex Legends 2. It says right here, 
that EA is currently not interested in launching Apex Legends 2 because historically the version 2 thing has almost never been as successful as the version 1 thing. Some journalists have also referenced Overwatch 2 saying that when Overwatch 2 released it was absolute chaos, there was a lot of things wrong with the game and the release wasn't as smooth as people thought about it. But one of the main reasons that Apex doesn't want to release an Apex Legends 2 which I think is a pretty good point is that they don't want people's progress to be lost. They don't want to just scrap Apex Legends and replace it with a new shiny tag and have everything you've grinded for over the last six years of Apex being out to be wiped to make you have to start from the bottom again. I think that's a good point because realistically if Apex Legends 2 came out they'd kind of have to make you keep all of your items because of how much money you would have spent on them and then realistically Apex Legends 2 would just feel like a normal new update for Apex Legends 1. It would just feel the exact same as a new season does. Maybe they'd revamp some of the graphics and the UI, but ultimately they could just do that in a new season update and that makes sense as to why Apex Legends 2 just isn't on the cards right now. But despite that, they're definitely planning on some pretty big changes and some of those changes might come as close to season 23 and there are chances that season 23 is definitely an exciting one, at least for the first few weeks or months. Because we have had some rumors floating around about season 23. First of all, we know that it's titled From the Rift and this giant purple rift is going to explode and seemingly bring in some kind of alternate dimension or universe, or maybe even take us back in time. Because there's also been some comments made by Alika Osvaldator that are hinting at some of these changes. He has been mentioning the EPG-1, which was a grenade launcher in Titanfall. So who knows, maybe Apex will pay homage to Titanfall, and in this Rift event, bring a brand new weapon, the EPG-1, as maybe a care package weapon, or as part of an LTM. I think that would be awesome, having explosive weapons from Titanfall in Apex, even if for a limited time to see if they work. I'd definitely be excited for that. And on screen right now, you can see what the EPG actually would look like and perform like in Apex Legends. We have been able to mod it into the game using R5 Reloaded, and this thing just looks awesome, and they definitely have to figure out a way of balancing it, but I think it could be pretty easily done, and the model itself of the EPG looks great, even in third person, having Loba hold this thing. It's an absolute weapon, and I'd love to see it in the game. He also made a comment on a post about gold armor, which implies that gold armor might be coming back to Apex and this would make sense if we do get an OG mode. As I've said before, the devs seem to be toying with an idea of an OG Apex mode because there were OG versions of all the Apex weapons from Season 2 in the game files recently and this whole Rift event that could take us back in time could definitely give us an OG Apex mode and it was successful with Fortnite so there's every chance that Apex try and do the same. I feel like we'll get a trailer for Season 23 tomorrow anyway so stay tuned if you want to hear more specifically about Season 23 but there you go. I thought it was interesting seeing what EA had to say about Apex and their plans for the future. Even though they're just words at the moment, it does seem like they have some decent ideas in mind and their focus might be in the right place for 2025. So it could be an interesting year for Apex and your wallets might be thankful for it. So let me know your thoughts. Do you trust EA? I think that's the first thing. A lot of players don't even trust EA. So don't get your hopes up too much. And if you were hoping for Apex Legends 2, well, keep hoping.